I've been paying really close attention to the NDP fear and smear campaigns that they have been running. And I haven't said a whole lot up to this point, but today I got angry. So Rachel Notley uses a future cancer hospital as a political statement and sits there and can brag about this amazing job that the NDP are doing here in Alberta. She's going to throw mud as much as she can at the UCP. And she uses a cancer hospital as a political statement, saying that Jason Kenney isn't even going to staff the place, which is ridiculous. The NDP love scaring Albertans, and it really shows me that this is going to be their entire campaign. They are going to be nasty, they are going to be mean, they are going to hit below the belt, and they aren't going to use facts for one little bit of their campaign. Oh no, they are going to use every tool in their arsenal to try and scare people. Now we've already seen it starting where they're saying that Jason Kenney is going to cut health care by 20%. And I kind of wondered where would you get that number from where Jason Kenney hasn't said he's going to cut health care by 20%. It's because he made a statement that BC spends 20% less than us. This whole notion that the NDP is trying to turn that the UCP are these big cut and burn specialists is ridiculous because you can't sit back and brag about your record in Alberta healthcare when it is not that great. You can't sit back and give yourself a gold star for a healthcare system that you haven't made any better. If anything, the situation has gotten worse here in Alberta. What really got me angry today was when I got another phone call from the Stollery Children's Hospital telling me that they had to push my daughter's cardiology appointment back again. And it's not being pushed back because of some inconvenience at the hospital or something on my end. It's being pushed back because the Stollery Children's Cardiology Ward does not have enough staff to run a full clinic. Let that sink in for a minute. Stollery Children's Hospital does not have enough staff to run regular clinics and regular checkups for these kids that absolutely need these appointments. My daughter has always had to go for regular cardiology checkups since she was a little baby. And I look back five or six years ago, our appointments were never pushed back because of staffing issues. And that was under PC rule. Yet the NDP go and claim that they have done so much for our healthcare system, they can't even keep staff in a hospital. Then I look at my son who has ADHD. And yes, okay, he sees a pediatrician. We drive an hour plus just to see this doctor. And yet we were told that we needed to get our son into a pediatric mental health specialist. It took Alberta Health Services a year and three months to phone me back with an appointment. A year plus wait for children to get into a mental health specialist? Th this is ridiculous. Now we can expect more NDP lies and scare tactics, in particular when it comes to things like healthcare. But if you actually look at the facts and you look at what the NDP has done for Alberta Health Services, it's not all rainbows and sunshine like they claim it to be. In my particular case, things have not improved under NDP rule. If anything, they have gotten worse and it has gotten to the point that I am so unbelievably frustrated with NDP. And they can sit and brag that they are doing the best that Alberta has ever had when it comes to healthcare. But when your child is waiting months and months and months and having appointments pushed back months and months to get into a cardiologist that they see regularly, or you're sitting back and you're waiting for an appointment for a pediatrician or a children's mental health specialist, it's not good. And things in Alberta need to change. We need the election called now and we need our healthcare system fixed.